Hi everybody, I'm Jackie Fernandez, an Emotional Energy Wellness Coach, and today I want to talk to you about how you can use Oracle cards and Tarot cards to help you navigate uncertainty, envision your future, and be here right now. Let's get started. So I'm sure most of you know, you know, we have cards out there that everyone uses and everyone loves to get their hands on these cards in some way because you feel like you're tapping into some unknown wisdom or secrets that you wish you could get into too. And in my experience, that is what these two types of decks do for me. So let me get started in introducing you to the difference between an Oracle deck and a Tarot deck. And I'll begin with the oracles. This happens to be one of my favorite decks by Colette Baron Reed. And as you can see, it's called The Wisdom of the Oracle. And oracle cards simply have no structure. There's no specific system to them. There's no symbolism tapped into them. They are simply created by what I call modern day sages that have the ability to tap into wisdom and knowledge and signs and energies to be able to create decks filled with pictures and mantras that you can use on the daily, even several times today to help you identify what the current energy is around you and help you make some very quick decision making um, activities if that's what's needed. So Oracle decks are great for that. There are no symbolism to them. They are simply, you know, how do I feel today? What can I expect today? Pull one card, pull two cards, pull five cards. It will give you exactly what's coming up in your day or within the next few days. Then we have the Tarot. The Tarot card, card deck is a fixed system. And a fixed system means there is an order to the way things are done and how the cards are made and there's order in the way the messages come through. For example, the tarot has seven, it's a 78 card deck and it's comprised of 22 major arcana and 56 minor arcana. And each deck is created with four suits that are all numbered they have symbols and signs and they absolutely never change. So consistently, if you look at how tarot decks are comprised, you will see them created with that same exact system and structure in place. So how would you use a tarot deck, you might ask? The tarot decks are used in usually past, current and future situations and there's many different spreads around which this can be done there's celtic crosses there's so many different ways in which you can read these cards but at its base essence it will tell you about something or how your energies of the past or situations of the past that you maybe have coming through and have healed from give you some insight as to what your current situation is today or in the now or in the very present or short future. And then it also provides you the ability to tap into energies or give some guidance around what is essentially coming up for you in the future. And they do that within four suits, 22 major arcana cards, and 56 minor arcana cards that are numbered and this is a solid system. Now the way I personally use both of these decks, I use them in multiple ways. I would use tarot cards with my clients, my customers, myself to get a monthly, a quarterly, an annual reading for myself of what I think could be coming up in the next year, whether it's known to me or not. And I would then read the cards and understand that information. And I typically pull Oracle cards, sometimes multiple of them daily. Like this stuff is part of my morning ritual for sure. Because what it does for me on a personal level is we have a lot of things to manage in life. And whether we are conscious of it or not, 
that energy that we bring to our life has the ability to weigh positively or negatively on our overall health and well-being mental physical emotional spiritual that's it and in case we all haven't felt it recently especially with covid is when we are limited and restricted into anything that we feel like we can do and this is a daily instance mainly because fear if we hesitate on making a decision or really overanalyze or stress over a situation that's something we might not have anything to do with or can do anything about that is energy that we are burning burning in our capability to actually feel well and that energy the way that it transmutes or translates into our body has the unsurmountable ability to contribute to our overall wellness whole being wellness mental physical emotional spiritual wellness and if we ignore it and if we don't learn tools and techniques to push through fear or reduce the uncertainty in our lives to reduce the stress levels in our lives unfortunately that energy lives and you know compounds within our body and that's where we feel like we're out of balance where we could look like we're all put together on the outside but on the inside we don't know what the heck is going on because there's like it feels like that internal struggle of push pull that is the exact mode of my work getting you to feel so in so comfortable inside so when you are navigating uncertainty you know that you will make it through regardless of what you know of how you're going to do it because you are tapped into the most pure and authentic source that resides in every single one of us and that's our intuition and unfortunately based on the amount of distractions that we face in life and in society and how many distractions we allow to distract us from actually doing some internal work and tapping into our intuition it gets very hard to ever feel like you're in balance and unfortunately in some cases it exacerbates into disease and accelerates health risks and complications in all ways so I have been using the Tarot and Oracle decks for decades, years and years and years and years to help guide me as far as what could be coming up in life and especially when I feel like I need to navigate different things in life. And just that level, whether I know if it's going to, if it's true or not, if you believe in it or not, or whether I know if, it's, I, if I hope it's going to happen that way or not, but just settling and knowing that I am supported in some way reduces the uncertainty I have, which then reduces fear, which allows me to do not only the work that I do, but to navigate everything in life. Because when that begins to happen and you really begin to focus on tools and techniques that help you feel grounded, that help you feel safe, that help you feel so confident in your ability to navigate anything that comes to you, that is where your true power is. And you can do it and not feel any kind of anything but bliss in knowing that you honored yourself and you are your authentic self as you navigate your experience in this life. So this is a for first in a hopefully a series of videos, but that's going to depend on you guys. You guys have to let me know if you like this kind of content, if you don't like this kind of content, and what about this content do you want to know more about? You can do that by jumping over to my website, Jackie at JackieMFernandez.com. You can send me an email or leave me a message. You can like the post or leave it in the comments, and we're listening, and we'll get back to you. Until then... Uh, Jackie, here's to your tarot and oracle musings.
go out and get yourself a deck, at least this one, it's really easy to use. Anyone can use it. It's really easy to acclimate to. Talk to you soon. Until next time. Bye.